To apply absorbing Markov chains, you must know how to solve for two things. One, the fundamental matrix F, and two, the matrix FR. First, to set up for the problem, you must do several things. One, make sure that the matrix you have is a transition matrix. Uh, for example, it's square, each row adds up to one. Two, make sure this transition matrix is an absorbing Markov chain. So A, each absorbing state must be in the form P sub II. And B, you must rearrange the matrix and see if it follows the form I, O, R, Q. Basically, this form means that if you divide the matrix a certain way, you will get an identity matrix in this corner, a matrix of zeros here, and two other matrices who do not contain only zeros. Sometimes the matrix will not be in perfect IORQ form, so you will need to rearrange it. To do so, first find all of the absorbing states. Let's say you have the matrix here, where these are row numbers and column numbers. Now they're absorbing states at 3, 3, and 4, 4. Once you find the absorbing states, rewrite the row and column order of the matrix with 3 and 4 first. The order of 3 and 4 does not matter. Neither does the order of the rows. Neither does the 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 order of 3 and 4 does not matter, and neither does the order of the rest of the rows and columns. However, the rows and columns must be labeled in the exact same order. So, you can't have 3 4 1 2 on one side and 4 3 1 2 on the other side. Now that you've rearranged the matrix, you can draw lines to separate it into IORQ form. Sometimes the identity matrix here will just be a 1. Also, sometimes the matrices O, R, or Q may only consist of one entry.